Welcome into this week's episode of what we're officially calling the M&M Show. Yes, we are. We like it. Yes, it's, we are. it's a good Stick title. It. It's not a working title anymore. It is official. Yep. Maddie Glab alongside Micah Hyde as your hosts. The Bills are playoff bound for the fourth straight year. And yes, we are. There's something in the water here mm -hmm. in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean, Micah it. Hyde. You guys are doing big things. And Bills Mafia is proud to be able to watch you guys year Thank in, you. year out. And what you've been able to do. It Thank has you. been fantastic. We're going to get into that and much more. But you know the drill already. Let's kick it off. With a little bit of fit check. Fit check. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's see the what the guys, guys got. The guys were serving, serving and swerving up the looks for a game that was cold. Yes, it was. I was wondering, you know, it's a little cold outside. Are we going to look top notch? Is I'm, it too cold you know, to look top notch? No. I, I think fit check is moving its way through the locker room because guys are knowing that we're talking about this. So they're not going to show up with, with, without their Good best job. fits. Yeah, Good we got job. it. We'll All right, it we've got to highlight first the guys who repped the cold weather and what they actually had on. It was the defensive line. I love how they show up just all together. <laughs> Tim Settle. Yeah. I asked Mike, I said, who is that in the black hat, the ski goggles, and the, the snow pants yep. or the overalls? Boogie Basham, yep. Daquan Jones, and Ed Oliver. That looks like a Carhartt fit to me. Yeah, yeah, it definitely <laughs> is. Ed rocking the 9-1. The I love it. Uh, look at DQ. Just... You know, showing his muscles. Boog, of course, he probably was putting Vaseline or lotion or something on it before, like before he, he walked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he uh, he did that though. Those boys are crazy, and they got to the quarterback. So I, I, you know what? If they get after the quarterback, they can do that every week. You can week. wear whatever you want. Exactly. And I love that Tim Settle just wore a sweater with some blueberries yeah, yeah. on it. Like, that, <laughs> that oh, just screams Tim, Tim Settle to yeah. me. I don't know why. Yeah, he's, a, he's funny. But we've got a bunch of other looks, so we're going to check out uh, a couple more. Okay. We had one of our tight ends who was looking good. Mm. We also had Matt Milano. Let's, we had let's, Shaq let's Lawson. See let's see so what let's, they got. let's pull up the group of photos that we have to highlight everything that these guys okay. had on. Okay, so the D-line up there. Ooh, Crane. Mm -hmm. Crane put it on again. The He's in the lead is. right now. He's I mean, in the but lead. I think it's the color is yeah. maybe what we're attracted to. Yeah, it's the pop of color. It's the pop of color. It looks good on him. But then you know you're going to go neutral with Matt Milano. Matt Milano's always going to come in with the, the, the white, gray, mm -hmm. black, you know, being it's smooth. It's sleek, though. Yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. good. It's He's very like sleek. clean cut, and sleek. so it he works. He is sleek. He is sleek, yeah. And, and then, then you got Quentin Morris. Quentin Morris Young with Q, a little varsity Young Q, big jacket. touchdown. He might have to wear that, ja that jacket next week. Every um, week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, every week. Let's wear it. Let's, let's put it on every week, Q. Uh, but these are these are uh, four good pictures of, of some guys with some fire fits. I do, I really like that one up top. Yeah, we're going to have Shaq Lawson on later yes. in the show, and we're definitely going to talk about the fit that he had on and mm -hmm. the fit that he unlocked had on last week too because that pink jacket was just everything. Yeah, was was We've got really another cool. round of four players that we just loved what they were wearing. So let's check out uh, some of those guys because there were some other epic outfits that we want to highlight. All right, yes. your top left hand corner. I also had to ask my guy said, is this, uh, who is this? Is this Damar? And I was wrong. It no, was it's Taiwan. Taiwan. It's Taiwan. And remember I shouted him out last week and I said he has some fits, so he made it this week. You got Diggs up there, man. Diggs gonna make it each and He's every week. He's got the balaclava. We know what that is now. That you found out what that Yes. Oh, yeah. The balaclava. Yeah, yeah. That was from a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So we, we know what that is. Thing. Brought two fits. Two one fits. in the facility and then one to the stadium. That's big time, you know. That's Steph Diggs. What more can you ask? Yeah. Then you got Saran down there with the with the winter pants. I like that coat. I'm gonna ask him where he got it because I might get that he same looks coat. He's like he's like a Martian. Or he does. Like, yeah, he like does. A different planet. Yeah, he does. But Ooh, Saran, he, he it. puts it on. And, and then D Dog. So Dion had an NFL media vest and a little camera with him. And like a little Polaroid. A little Polaroid okay. camera that he was snapping some pics, walking in. So this was. What was, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but it was a conversation amongst our group of like, maybe one of the players should wear a media vest, which is what we wear on the sidelines shooting the game, what you have to kind of be in. Okay. And so we thought, okay, who would do this? And of course, okay. Deion Dawkins would do it. So he was showing some love to the NFL media, walking in, walking in with an NFL media vest. And of course, the NFL picked it up and they put it on their channels Did they? because... They were giving, he was giving, giving love It's an opportunity guys. for them, you know. It is, they it they is. got it posted, but I was walking into the to like, the facility. 
Yeah, that was looking, well, no, I didn't, I didn't ask him out, I thought it was just a smooth little tan vest, you know, I didn't, I didn't see the back of it or anything, and then I see him with the Polaroid taking pictures, and I'm like, dude, what's going on, but now it makes sense, he was working for the NFL that week. He was working for the NFL that week. Yes, right. he was. It's time to award our winners, Shaq Lawson, he's our leader with two points, mm -hmm. Roger has one, Roger Saffold, and Saran Neal has one as well. I'm going with Shaq again. Oh my I'm gosh. going with Shaq again. I, I'm not it's being terrible. biased. I promise. I'm not being biased. But Shaq put it on again. He did. I, 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 he went from the pink last week, the pop of color, to the to the blue and the yellow with the chain. Mm. Shaq, boy, you doing it? I like it a lot, man. What he he told us that uh, he didn't want to tell us how much the jeans he had mm -hmm. on last week were. I wonder how much those blue pants are. Yeah. Yeah, I have to that looks like have a, a little conversation fancy, with him. Expensive yeah, fit. yeah, yeah. You go, Shaq, you gotta manage your money. You gotta We're manage not spending it. A thousand no, but he did that. That looks good. Good, <laughs> good work, Shaq. Okay, good work. Shaq Lawson, I'm giving it to the party of four, but within the four of the defensive mm. line, it's going to Boogie Basham. It's going to Boog. The I lotion, just, the I lotion, the Vaseline loved, paid off. Yeah, I love that he embraced. <laughs> He embraced winter in this. Yes, he did. He didn't know who he was, which I kind of like that too. Yep. You can be like a character walking into the stadium. You yep. can you can get into game mode. That's funny. Um, muscles are popping. He looks like he's about ready to take down a quarterback. Yeah, he does. I don't know if that's snow pants or a or just regular pants. Looks like snow pants. I'm and not sure. I'm not sure. I love the ski goggles look. That's sweet. I'm a big that's fan sweet of that. Bug. Congrats, man. You uh, you got a point. Yep. You got a point. So Shaq has three. Yes. Roger has one. Mm -hmm. Saran has one. And Boogie has one. We are tracking these to see who keeps to keeps on jumping up that leaderboard. Uh -huh. What are we gonna do for the winner? I, we're gonna have to do something. I we don't can. know if we do. We'll, we'll keep brainstorming. We'll keep brainstorming. Yeah, let's do it. Or I can pitch in the twenty dollars that I have for a T-shirt <laughs> from the Bill store, maybe. Let's do that. <laughs> I'll pitch in. Okay. We'll go half and half for it. All right, another great week of some fits. Excited to see what we have throughout the season. We are so pumped to have Shaq Lawson on with us, who has been I eating know. quarterbacks for lunch lately. Yes, Shaq, the yes, last two games for you against your former teams, you have just showed up time and time again for your team, your current team, the Buffalo Bills. What has it been like to to be on a, an awesome stage here in the last two games and and make some plays against two teams that you played for? Um, it's, it's, it's been a blessing, really, um, going back to the last two places I've been at to make plays against them. Um, like I said in my interview, I took mm -hmm. it like kind of personal because I got cut by the Jets last year before a Buffalo game in the last game of the season. So I feel like that was personal. And, and Miami let me go just after one year. I ended up buying a crib and everything. I thought mm. I was settled. Dang, so, Stephen let you buy that crib? Yeah, Stephen <laughs> definitely, definitely let me we buy We got the same crib. advisor. We got the same I, advisor. I, I think because during COVID year, that's mm. why That's why he let me buy the crib. Got you. Got, so how was it, how was it um, like coming back to Buffalo? Like you, I'm sure you were away. You went to the last two divisional teams, the Jets in Miami. Like, how was it coming back? Like, what was your mindset? You already knew everybody in the locker room. Like, what, what was going on in your mind? Oh, my mindset was basically like trying to get my career back. Like, I know these guys knew who I was the two years before I left, but I mean, they probably could have thought, hey, he don't got traded. Yeah. Shaq probably on change since he don't got money and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show I had a good face around here and and show who I was, like, who I always was, like, the guy that's going to bring energy, this guy that's, I know, I feel like coming back first, I wasn't saying that, and I was kind of quiet because I, I feel like I had to find my place, uh -huh. and that's... That's real. That's, yeah. that's real. So you feel like you, you have your place now on this team, and when what? you came... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it took me... Good, probably, good. Took me to, I took, I took, it took the first preseason game, I think, about there, and I was like, okay. I Did it talk. feel like anything changed once you got back? No, nah, nothing changed at all. I mean, just s some new faces, mm -hmm. but other than that, everything the same. So I was, I was talking to uh, D Dog last week. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was talking about the, the O line room and how you know they're big personalities, they're a bunch of clowns, uh, funny guys. You in the D line room, and I'm actually in I'm, I'm in defensive meetings with you guys. You get a little taste of it. I him, get right? a little taste, and mm -hmm. these boys are funny with him, Tim Time, Tim Settles. Um, you know, just the whole Ed, Greg, AJ, Book, everybody. You know, they're all funny. Big Phil, um, and so in that in that meeting room when you guys are all together, 
who's who's the dominant voice? Who's talking the most? Well, it's usually, <laughs> me. it's usually me. But Tim got me beat though. Tim, Tim, I, Tim got me beat yeah. by far. Tim is and loud. I never thought I'd say that because <laughs> Tim is loud. Like Tim will come. Any type of the morning. I remember that time we had a away game. It was like we all sleep, <laughs> getting up. He waking up. Let's go. He still got energy. I'm like, come on, it's 3 a.m. Yeah. Like, but yeah, Tim definitely got me beat. Speaking of being a voice in the defensive line room and and being one of the loud ones in the defensive line room, we are setting up for a shoot across the field house. You are in your lift. I could hear word for word what you were saying across the field house when you were lifting this afternoon. So where does this personality and this voice come from, Shaq? Has this always been you, or or did this start when you started playing in the NFL or first? Oh no, it always been me. Uh, <laughs> it always been me. I always been a loud person. You know, um, it's always been energized. I feel like if I'm not talking or nothing, I feel like it's a bad day. If, if you, if Michael Poppy see me in the hallway, it's like, hey, what's wrong with you? Yeah. If I ain't saying that. 100. If if Shaq's not talking, yeah, there's something wrong that day. And I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a walk up to him, but hey, bro, you good? Like, what's going on with you? I need to, I need to know because can I help? Because you're you're quiet and you're <laughs> never you you're never quiet. And so going off that, who is you know we you got all the nicknames. You got Crane. You got Ty Crane. You got Crane Ski. Yeah. You got Shaq. Okay, so let's let's break it down for the people right now that are watching. How did you get these nicknames, and what do you want to be called? Mm. I mean, the Crane series, I, you know, any any Crane, <laughs> Ty Crane, you know, I'm good with that. You gave me one of them nicknames too, Crane Skeet. Crane man. Skeet. That's that's yeah. off Trent. That's off Trent. Yeah, no, yeah, Trent. Yeah, Trent, Trent, yeah, Trent, Trent did. Yeah. yeah, it's just Crane. I, well, I got that nickname for Coach Carter, really, because mm -hmm. I mean. I, it started with a trend because only because my haircut. I used to have a ball cut. Just my dad messed me up. Like my dad gave my, me a ball cut. So and then how did on this the movie, photo leak? This photo leak. Like if you see the the character of Coach Carter, he uh -huh. got a ball cut too. We got to get this character. So up. you got to see gotta, it. I just posted a highlight up. on my on my IG of the dude actually. Like I'm the only Ty Crane. He's saying it, but. I used to play just like the dude in basketball, but he had a ball yeah, cut. And a one kid player. was like, hey, man, I'm calling you Crane. Ty Crane is your nickname. Like, <laughs> ever since then, it stuck with me. And then when I first got in the league, uh, not even first got in the league, I think when McDermott first got here, he mm -hmm. started calling me Crane. It was kind of different. I'm like, okay. McDermott yeah, gave you that yeah. nickname? Nah, nah. Okay. Like, he, wait, just started, he just started, he just started calling him that. Have a coach call you by your nickname, Crane? Okay. You got to roll with it. Then you, you have roll to roll with it. with it. Yeah, you got to. My locker head thing say Ty Crane on it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's that's amazing. How much fun have you been having this season? What has it been like to to be on a defensive line that has some new, new faces, like you said, um, but Von Miller is a part of it now. Mm -hmm. You're back with Jordan Phillips. There is some consistency there. So how close are you to some of these guys on the defensive line? Man, it's been a fun season so far, you know, oh, especially when the year I come from. I mean, People don't see, like, where I, like, coming from, like, one of the worst teams from all categories mm -hmm. last year to one of his team, a great defense. Yeah. Like, it feel like a 360 turnaround. Yeah. But yeah. being back with the people you, you've been with, like, familiar faces, like, Phil, like, Phil was a big part of me coming back. Like, he, he hit my line after, like, <laughs> hey, Phil, I just signed. I'm like, oh, you signing back? I'm like, okay, this is an opportunity I can get my career back, man. Mm -hmm. Guys that know me, like, I started my career here and things like that. Like, people know the vibe. Like, like some places, like, I had to be quiet. Like, I remember in Houston, man. Like, I, bro, I, was, you like, I know. Yeah, you I was there in for Houston. a quick second. I yeah, that's why I left. Wow. I asked for a trade from Houston because mm -hmm. I'm getting shh in the hallway. Shh. Yeah, like, that I was, was the that kid. Is. Like, Shaq it was something different, Shaq. so I couldn't talk, so. Wow, that's great. I mean, and you just you're like a big uh, a big group of the guys that that have come back, you know, between you, like you mentioned, Big Phil, mm -hmm. um, Smoke, Fees. I'm sure I'm missing. It is the yeah, AJ Klein. AJ Klein. I'm sure, you know, I'm, we're probably still missing some guys, but I feel like everybody is coming back because they want to be a part of, you know, what we have is special. special. And that's why I tell people all the time, like, you know, it, just what we have in the locker room from the from the high character guys to the, you know, personalities, to all that stuff, man, everybody just wants to be a part of it. And, you know, Everybody's showing their personality in their fashion. Yeah. And this, this, I'm telling you, this year people are dressing different. 
People are acting different. I know. And my dog Crane Ski. Yep. Bro, you be coming with the fits, man. I got you. Shaq, I got you. That pink I got jacket. You. Yeah. Where did you get that from? Where did you get the shoes from? That was See, incredible. that was fly, man. That was okay. Fly. The pink jacket, like I seen it online. Like, but my, you know, I, I got a, I got a little shopper. I ain't gonna say stylist. Okay. Okay. The shopper and stylist. Two, two different, different things. things. Like right. a shopper just seeing you a bunch of pictures of mm -hmm. stuff you can put together. Now I put it together myself. So okay. a stylist, they gonna have to put the whole fit. Yeah. So I seen it throughout the thing. I'm like, oh, that's a pink jacket. I'm, I'm dark skinned too. I'm saying I need to bring some color out. Like, so it made me pop a little bit. I said, okay, this might get somebody attention. Like, then I gotta keep up with Diggs, Seren, yeah. Taiwan. You gotta just keep up with those guys. Like, Okay, you got to just bring your eight game. But the week. pink shoe set it off too. Yeah, the pink shoe and Louis Vuitton. I had those last year. I've been waiting for the right time to wear it. And, and, and I had the perfect yeah. jacket to wear. I'm like, okay. And even the jeans that you wore were so good with the yeah, outfit. I ain't, I'm not going to tell you the price of them jeans. <laughs> I definitely ain't going to say it right here. Or so my financial advisor here that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeans are kind of a little pricey, <laughs> though. Don't watch this. That's he why I'm going to make sure I'm going to wear them 150 times because I'm going to get my thousand dollars out of fit <laughs> not this week but next week man I'm a, I'm, you're gonna see them multiple times if i got them yeah I'm wear them. do nice. you plan the season what you're gonna wear do you plan week to week how do you how do you plan the fits for the games man i just depend on the vibe and like the weather mm -hmm. like if like, it's too cold, are we like we're not gonna try this week, or are you still? Yeah, gonna try? like if it's too cold, I'm just I'm gonna throw the jumpsuit on. <laughs> but you can't do that around here though, cause like you got those guys, they ain't throwing no jumpsuit nah, on. They yes. Like guys they're prepared. prepared. Yeah, they Every wear week. something just to wear to the plane. Like okay, yeah. we all supposed to chill to wear. Steph some had stuff. two outfits. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah, showing up to the facility and then and walking then he had down a little, to the little stadium. Velvet jumpsuit. See, look. Yeah. After the game, See, was it was it like that when you were in New York and Miami and Houston? Like, was it was it like that? I mean, I know like it hasn't been like that around here because you know it's always cold. Yeah, and it's Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? See, like, not just, not much as New York, but Miami. It was Miami, big on yeah. fashion of cars. Like mm. each each player had a, a foreign car. Like that's that was the, that was the thing down there. So it was either Rolls Royce, Lambo trucks, Ferraris. It was. What's yours? It went. I see I end up getting both of them for being down there, you know, I just uh, following the wave, you know. You said feeling the wave. But look, it, I mean the the Rose Rush truck I really got off my rookie year contract. So I mean then I, I just remember when we saw myself. that in the parking lot for the first time, we were yeah. like Who's got the Rolls Royce yeah, truck? Yeah. And someone's like, oh, it's Shaq's. This, like, this, place, this place is different now. When, yeah, when, I, when, we, when I first got here in 17, you were already here. It was yep. pickup trucks. You might see a, a couple Range Rovers. Or, or something like, yeah, yeah. It's something like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, <laughs> game, especially game lot. day, guys be showing up showing with some up. stuff. It's crazy. It's wild, man. Who like started that? Different. Who started to flip the switch? Was Shaq one of the first I guys? I think it was that last up? year with Jerry and Big Phil. Remember yeah. they pull up with the Rolls Royce? They yeah. Come, yeah, I think last it was year. Jerry, Big Phil, Big Phil. Crane came on, Diggs Stakes. got here. Diggs, when Diggs got here, he really made it be known. Like he started showing up with, with some with some whips. A car for every day of the week. It, it, you know what? Pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. And now you go out there and it's like, where am I at? Are we in Miami? Yeah, like, that's what I feel. What is going on? So it's an eye opening for me for sure. Uh, we need to talk about what you wore this past game because Micah was a really mm -hmm. big fan of it. Again. So, Micah, Again. you want to tell us why you why you liked it? You know what? Because, you know, Crane, you just be coming out with a, with a pop of colors. Mm -hmm. and you put the yellow with the blue, and it just stood out. Yeah. And, and like I said, you, you I told you um, a couple of days ago, you took the lead. Uh, in the in the fit check, mm -hmm. and I still got you in the lead, man, because that's what you you put it on. You talking about digs? You talking about Saran, Taiwan? Mm -hmm. But you're the one in the lead, man. So right. I just wanted to right. say, appreciate you, it. You, you putting that on, Craig? Okay? <laughs> you put it on. <laughs> I got some next week for real. I'm trying to get in it. Yeah. All right. So what do you say, Mikey? You always say, uh, look good. Feel good, play good. Play good so, good. so that's translated the last two weeks for you. You put on that that pink jacket, you get a sack. You mm -hmm. put on that green, yellow jacket, and those blue pants. What happens Man, again? I you might get come out sack. with something purple gotta, this week. Yeah. I might come out something crazy. You I'm getting a sack to. like that. You yeah. have to. Playing in Chicago, Man, cold Chicago, weather. Cold. You ready for it? I you might come out with a sleeves? chinchilla. You go. Let's do it. Nah, I ain't wearing no sleeves in it. Nah. There you go. That's game Yeah, your sleeves. I really might bring it back like the old school days back. You know what I'm saying? The old Dickies fit, you mm -hmm. know, Taylor fit, Dickies mm -hmm. fit. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Yeah. Got to. You, I, might, you might win next week, too. Yeah. Never know. 
Three Pete. Three Pete. I think we have the two sacks that you've had. So in Let's the last two out. weeks. So Let's do we want to do we want to check them out, guys? Yeah. Do we want to start with the um, Jets game? If we have some of that video, Let's do we it. can watch it together. I hope y'all got the there airport. it is. Oh. Take Shaq. us through this, guys. What you what you thinking right here? Shaq dude came out, tried to try to cut you. Uh, yeah. Quarterback rolled out. What what you think? Ooh, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Hi, Stephen. Oh, Hi, Stephen. So um uh, so. I know Gay throughout the game, I knew he wasn't going to cut me through off his angle. So I basically, okay, he ain't going to cut me. He too deep, so yeah. I knew it was a pass. So then I just really jumped on it. I said, I'm going to do my hand. I, that's I, it. Man, I'm doing my dance. That's, that's, his, sign I, that's I, his signature yeah, dance. I skipped a he little put his hands back to get the, get the skipping. <laughs> that's, that's Crane right there. But that was a, that was a big play, man. And, um, you know, obviously me watching from the sideline, I love to see that juice, man, because that's the Crane we see every single day. So. For people to see that on live TV, that's that's big. And we got to show the other one too. Where's the other one at? We got the Miami one oh, as well. One. Yeah, that was another big hey, sack. Crazy. Let's watch I ain't this had a script one. Sack since hey, this was yeah, huge, man. man. This was huge. Third and one uh, during the red zone, yeah. and and Crane, you was able to stay alive and just keep hunting, and was able to get to the quarterback. Man, that was that was a big play, and, and we ended up giving up a I think a field goal right here, mm -hmm. no touchdown after they had that long run. So this was a this is a huge play, and, and what did you see on this play? Uh, I knew it was a six-man protection, and, you know, Coach Frazier, Coach E preach, hey, our dance never get blocked by a tight end. Mm -hmm. I had a one-on-one matchup with a <laughs> tight end. I'm yep. like, I can't lose this one. Got to eat, man. Yep. That, was a, that was another big play, man. Like, you just – that's two weeks in a row where you, you, you're giving our defense some big plays, man. So, proud of you, man. Keep, keep stepping up. Keep doing you. Kransky with the fits, Kransky with the plays. We got to also talk about what you got going on this week, Shaq. You're going to do mm -hmm. some good for the community yeah. Yeah. today. I'm going right, I'm going right what are you doing? Uh, I'm about to take like uh, some families, like 20 families for Christmas, shopping at Walmart, you know, just spend the worth, you know, because I was one of those kids mm -hmm. that needed that same help growing up. So mm -hmm. it's always something to give back. Here, I'm doing it here and back at home. So, nice. what's it like to see the smile on those kids' faces Man, when, when you say, "Hey, welcome to this store. You, you guys get what you want." Hey, it's, I mean, you know, that's that's what I told myself. If I had a pleasure of ever making it, like that's what I wanted mm -hmm. to do. Because I mean, that's what I know we we had the secret Santa. My whole family, we had to do all that every yeah. year to yeah. to see us smile. My mama had to make sure us smile. So. Just doing that for families like that, I mean, that's priceless. I'm that's sure you even for. just being around, you know, the kids, yeah. even at, you don't even have to be getting them anything. Yeah. You just being around just, the kids yeah. at Walmart, they're going to they gonna love that and see a role model, a see. positive role model. So You've got that larger-than-life awesome. personality, too. I feel like that you can mesh with pretty much any kid, anybody that walks in the door, mm -hmm. I feel like you can, you can relate to. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, Shaq, thank you so much for coming I on the M&M &M &M Show. We appreciate you talking some fashion and some snacks with us. Thank you. Let's dive into the X's and O's and head into the film room so Micah can teach us a little more about the game of football. There were some big plays Huge this plays. week. Huge a plays. lot of teams came back. There were a lot of games that went into overtime yes, in that one o'clock window. Yes, there were. We got to sit and watch it all unfold because mm -hmm. the Bills played on Saturday. Do you enjoy watching football on Love Sunday? It. Love it. Okay. You know, Thursday night games, it's a short week. Um, you know, it's tough to get your body back and all that's for the game, you know, working on game plan, all that stuff. Usually the game plan is um, just go out there and play fast. And Saturday game, same thing. It's before all the other games. So Sunday rolls around. Relaxing. You kick them feet up, you get on the couch, and you just watch games the all day. Kids jumping all over you. Yeah, 100%. I, I'm, I'm making it sound like I watch football the whole time. I didn't. You know, I didn't. So number one, one that stood out to you, yeah. is a pick six. So, do you want to take us through this a little bit? Uh, yes. Jaguars against the Cowboys. Yeah, Jaguars against the Cowboys. This is, it's in overtime. So, you talked about <laughs> overtime games. Um, this is a big moment. It's a third, third and, and four, four around the logo. You know, they're trying to at least get in the field goal range. Um, this is a big game for the Cowboys. The Cowboys obviously 10 and three. I think they play the Eagles coming up, which is, you know, so as you can see, maybe might, this might be a trap game. You know, you never know. 
Um, and if you look at the defense right now, it looks like they're playing like single high. They might show, you know, they might, might calm down and, and, so uh, and cover one. So when you're playing single high, yes. what is the offense telling you? So, so okay, so we're, if, if you're playing single high right now, uh, third and four usually means they're gonna, the offense is gonna run man beaters. Okay. Man beaters thinking mm -hmm. that the defense is gonna be in cover one, because you gotta have tight coverage, get the, get the corners, get the nickel, mm -hmm. get the safeties up, and really get hands on the receivers, so they can't get those four yards. They're not gonna sit back at 10 yards when they only need four. You you know, so they're there's gonna a, have guys in the box. Exactly, they're gonna have guys in the body in the box tight. So as you can see right here, there's a, there's a free safety in the middle of the field, mm -hmm. um, and so he's dropping down to cover the tight end. Now I watched this play a couple times, and I have to be honest, I'm not really sure if this is a bust <laughs> or what because the end peels on the back, mm -hmm. and so as he peels on the back. I think Rayshon Jenkins thinks that he has the back also, mm -hmm. but if you roll the tape a little bit, the safety drops down, takes the tight end, Rayshon Jenkins comes out, and the, the end peels on him, and he just is in, in la-la land. He's in no, no man's land. And, and, and comes up with a pick six to win the game. This is something that as a defensive player you dream about. I dream about this, and overtime, big game, and he, he seals it with the pick six. Um, he had two picks, 18 tackles, he had a game. He had a game. That Look at that. Look at that. Eyes on the football. Also, to be able to, regardless of if you were in no man's land yeah. or this was a play that you knew because of watching film, to yeah. be able to have the reaction time that he did to yeah. put his hands out and make that play as the ball is falling. Because uh -huh. it's, I feel like those are basically 50-50 balls. Maybe not even 50-50. You know maybe maybe, maybe 70-30. As a DB, we always say tips and overthrows. I need those. And he needed that, and he won the game. So that was a that was a dog ass play, Rayshon Jenkins. Hey man, congrats, because you had a hell of a game. 18, 18 tackles, tackles and two picks. That that's that's the wild. AFC Player of the Week for sure. It has to be. It has to be. No one no one could no one did better yeah. than that. All right, let's get into Micah's minute. We let's got a couple of topics. We got 60 seconds on the clock. A little Ooh. football, a little holidays here because we're right around Christmas. Yes. So number one for you. I alluded to it in the beginning of the show. We've made the playoffs in four straight years. I think from the outside looking in, people who have lived in Buffalo for a long time, they've been through the playoff drought. Yeah. Um, once Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean came here, they made some moves, They uh, some big names yes. left Buffalo. Yeah. They, they rebuilt, but that first year they made it to the playoffs. It was insane. And, I, and I you, still were, can't you believe. were a part of that team. Yeah, I still can't believe. You were one believe. of the OGs with Jordan Poyer. Yeah. And there's been some guys who have been here since the beginning of, of those days. And, yeah. and the team was shifting when you came in. And I'm sure as a new guy, you and Jordan are kind of thinking, okay, what is it going to look here? Is yeah. this the right place for us? Yeah, we're all we're thinking that. We're trying to figure out the culture inside mm -hmm. of the locker room. Make the playoffs that year. The next year you don't make the playoffs, mm -hmm. but Brandon and Sean have made it in five of their six seasons mm -hmm. since coming to Buffalo. What has impressed you most about the job that they have done and really how the team has transformed from that first season to where you guys are at now? Yeah, oh man, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, you know, I feel like when I first got here, I didn't. I honestly didn't know what to expect. Um, I, I didn't know, and I was coming from Green Bay. You know, a rich history, a place that that won a lot and won a super, won some Super Bowls, and you know, obviously with the players, they always talk about you know the Packers and stuff like that. So, I came here, and um, like I said, I didn't know what to expect, but I knew once I met Sean McDermott, you know, former wrestler. He's kind of wired differently like me. He's got that dog yeah, in him. Yeah, he's got that dog in him. He's kind of just, you know, he's, he's a little crazy, you know, when it comes <laughs> to football. And that's how, that's how I am. That's what you want. That's, that's how Poe is, you know. <laughs> that's, how, that's how a lot of guys on this team are. So um, I knew it was going to be a good fit. But, you know, once, once we started getting this thing rolling and getting the, the high character guys that, you know, Sean and Brandon wanted in this facility and wanted in this building and wanted in this organization, um, it, this, it just took, it, it took the organization to the next level. And... Obviously, you start with a guy like Josh. Um, you know, you need a quarterback to win games in this league. And, and you know, I, I, to this day, I'm, I, will, I will stand on any mountain, any hill, and say I believe Josh Allen is the best player in this league. And, and what he's able to do um, against defense, with, uh, against defenses or against, um, you know, us in training camp, you know, he's tough, he's tough to go against. It's, it's hard um, to match up against a, a running um, dual threat guy that is as big as him that can run as fast as him and um, you know it's it's fun to see and the only thing that's not fun about it is somehow some way you know 
dad dad's not out on the field and <laughs> and my son loves josh he calls him gosh allen calls gosh allen so that's the only thing that's not cool about this whole situation because he just wants now to be gosh allen be he yeah to be, he doesn't he want to be micah to be hyde allen, he wants in his name he's a junior his name is micah hyde he doesn't want to be micah hyde he wants to be gosh allen and man you know what it uh Dad, dad playing playing football in the basement it's not the same anymore so i kind of just give him a little a little a little well, I bit i think we have the video here. oh do so, we let's so check so it let's, out let's play let's check it out micah man what you got a little mike Wait. wanted to be gosh allen yep all right who are you <laughs> who are you <laughs> MJ, look gosh at. Allen. oh you're man. gosh allen so you Mike Hyde. I'm Micah Hyde and you're Allen? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Man, look at him. That's that's my that's my boy though. And I'm not mad at it. Josh is Josh is the best player in the league, so I can't be mad about it, but it hurts my soul a little bit to see my son want to be to want to be Gosh Allen Big over Micah Gosh Hyde. Allen fan. All right, our final question. Since Christmas, the holidays are right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got some traditions. Everybody's got some things that they do every year. So what are some holiday traditions in the Hyde household? Some holiday tra traditions. Um, we have a two and a one year old. As you saw, Micah Man uh, mm -hmm. was just up on the screen. He has a little sister, Maverick, call her mm -hmm. Mavi. Um, and so, you know, we're kind of just dabbling into these traditions a little bit. Um, do they do they know what Christmas is yet? Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is, MJ, is MJ, MJ, under, he knows Santa's coming down the chimney, and he's <laughs> and he's dropping off some some toys and some trucks. He's he, all about. Oh, the he's toys. he's all about it. He's all about that. Um, he knows that Santa's coming. He has a book. Um, he's gotten a, him and Mavi have gotten a book every day, every day. And, the month of December, Aww. so they get to open that up uh, up to the, up to you know Christmas. So, you know they they've been able to do that, open up some some presents. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just like I said, we're kind of dabbling into it. We we put up the Christmas tree and the Christmas lights like the day after Halloween, and we talked yep, about that on the show before. The show. You know, my wife wants it to have that Christmas spirit, so right after Halloween, go right into Christmas. And so um, that's something that we always do when we get back from the game. Um, on Saturday night, um, I'll have to put the kids' cars and mm -hmm. stuff together. That's always not my favorite part uh, mm -hmm. because you have you take all these parts out, and I always tell Amanda like, why don't we just pay you know fifty dollars to have someone else put it together? But yeah. no, Dad, Dad has to put it together so that when they wake up in the morning, all the toys are out and you know bows on them and everything. So. Um, you know, I'm talking junk now, but I, I secretly deep down love it because um, my wife does a good job making our house feel like Christmas, mm -hmm. and and it's uh it's, it's it's truly a blessing. Those those are the presents from Micah and Mom, mm -hmm. but Santa comes yes. and also yes. does the stuff That's as true. well. That's you gotta true. leave out the cookies and the carrots, yeah. and the milk, carrots mm -hmm. for the reindeer. Yeah. All right. We tweeted out a question to Bills Mafia, like we do every week. We were trying to come up with, okay, what do we want to do this week? So we wanted to keep it holiday themed, and I wanted to see what type of lights, what type mm. of decorations Bill's Mafia had. Okay, up. man caves was, last week. I was thinking Bill's week. Mafia, Bill's themed lights and decorations. We got some really good responses. Nice, let's check so them out. our first one is from Bill Neto 315. That's his at. Uh, he has a Christmas tree. Oh, that's beautiful. Look with at that. a leaping Josh Allen at the top of it. Everybody. White has a leaping blue. Josh Allen. That's the perfect angel to yes, go on top. That is the Christmas tree topper yep. this year. I've seen so many of them. So many people tweeted in Christmas trees with Josh Allen at the top of them. That's, that is I awesome. wonder how That's Josh feels about this to know that a lot of people have a picture of him on top of <laughs> Do you think Josh has a tree? Do you think Josh has a leaping Josh? I would star? love that. That would be I, know, I, I doubt it. He that would definitely be, does not. That would that would be hilarious. But yeah. no, he you know he's he he loves Bill's Mafia, so yeah. I'm sure uh, he's pretty uh, ecstatic about that. All right, our final one. This was absolutely epic. I don't know how this Say the is best done. For last. Save the best for last, from Bob, the Defendorf. Oh so wow! So he said this is not my house, but this was pretty cool. So there is some type of projector, projecting Bill's highlights, on this house with the shout song playing as well. How cool is that? You don't even need any Christmas lights. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting this. And that, 
my friend is pretty cool. Like, you could just stand outside the house and just watch I would just highlights. hang out, yeah. You could Yo, watch a game yeah, out there. Yeah, I was about there. to say, put the game on, you know. People might not have the game. Like, let's go show up and sit in the front yard. And Christmas Eve in the front yeah, lawn at Bob's yeah. house or Heck whoever's yeah. house camp, that is. Camp at Bob's house. Camp in the front yard with a, with a fire and, and uh, let's watch the Bills win in, uh, win in Chicago. Heck yeah. So uh, a couple of cool tweets, a couple of cool houses outsides of their houses to showcase what Bill's Mafia is doing for the holidays, for Christmas. We appreciate it. All right, that's going to do it for us for another episode of the M&M Show. We hope you guys enjoy the holidays and have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, hopefully Santa brings you a Bill's win. Do it. Can't Micah, wait. Do it for the people. That's what we want for Christmas. Let's do it. <laughs> Appreciate it, Michael. All right. Make sure you stay tuned because we've got more episodes dropping in the future, including one next week. We'll see you guys next time.